Hello class, this is Mr. Todd and welcome to our next crypto class. And I'm going to shrink myself down and look at my cartoon version of myself and we're going to jump right into this. Uh, it doesn't sound so fun to me to talk about market cap and it is something that's very important. So I'm going to take you on a quick little journey to understand market cap and make it as interesting as possible, as comprehensible as possible, because it's very important to understand market cap if you're going to invest in anything, including crypto. So let's dive in. Second time trying to make this video because the first time my old Mac just kind of froze out or rather got really hot and stopped working opposite of freezing when you think about it. Uh, so what does market cap mean? Let's do it. Remember, knowledge is power and I'm an amateur. Professionals go elsewhere if you want professional help. I'm not your financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Buy Bitcoin. Uh, wait, sorry. That was a little bit of advice, but. Uh, in all seriousness, do your own due diligence always. Learn as much as you can, especially from other people. I am on a Telegram chat with friends. I'm on a WhatsApp chat group. Um, I constantly go into websites and, and reading what other people are thinking and doing and, and looking at their strategies, and it's fun. So if you're a neurotic geek who loves to read, this might just be an easy place for you to make some money. So we'll jump in to talk about market cap. We'll do a little news and then more info on market cap. I don't even know why I create agendas because I never follow them. So let's see if I even follow this agenda. Actually, we're going to go right into news. LeBron James teams with crypto.com to teach kids about blockchain. What? That's kind of a mouthful. What's going on there? We got NBA star, social activist, LeBron James, crypto.com. Crypto and if you read the article, it actually talks about uh, inner city students in particular. And here's why. We all know that there's something called inequality. It's actually grown. Um, I'm a big believer that the middle class is what makes a country great. And our big middle class in America, we pays a lot of taxes. And there's been a lot of opportunity to own the little white picket uh, fenced home with the garage. But the fact is that that's becoming a little more difficult because the rich continue getting richer and the poor get poor. And I'm not a believer in just tax the rich, and um, I'm very moderate in my politics, so I'm not a diehard far right wing or a diehard left wing. Um, but I do love our country. I love America, and I think a lot of the countries out there that do the best do educate their people. So the whole point of this is that Crypto.com is making a bunch of money. They built their huge arena. They want to do some PR. Um, but the, the real story behind this is that kids should be learning about blockchain technology. High school students, upper class, lower class, middle class, everybody should be learning about blockchain technology. Uh, what is cryptocurrency? What is the metaverse? What is Web3? Why didn't my parents buy Amazon stock and make a bunch of money? Because they didn't know about you know, the emerging disruptive technologies that were happening. Why didn't we buy Facebook stock? We didn't know. So now we can look back and like you can see here on the slide, Web 1 was the first generation of the World Wide Web. It allowed us to read things online, read only. The second generation, or Web 2, allowed users to both read and write on centralized platforms like Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. But Web 3, the emerging web, gives us full ownership over content, data, and assets via blockchains. So remember, the blockchain is underpinning the next generation of web. And people should really understand this. So... Is it cool that LeBron James is doing that with crypto? Sure. Do I think that's going to really solve the fundamental issues of equality when it comes to technology, knowledge, and education? No, I don't. So I made a, a YouTube channel. I don't think a bunch of kids are watching this, but I'm hoping to get more involved with that in the future in one way or another. So uh, some more news, and this is good news for the blockchain in terms of investment. If you're someone who's investing in it like me, um, we need... Uh, lawmakers to to be smart but we need them to regulate so do i believe in regulation sure i'm a free market capitalist i believe in free market but with you know big caveats uh, we have to have some level of control we can't just let people run amok so this week's uh house and senate hearings suggest a new relationship between crypto and u.s lawmakers hearings in the house and senate were thoughtful and productive i think one of the things that makes uh united states so powerful and effective is that rather than quash or just step on uh, emerging technologies, um, the U.S. tries to understand them and allow them to to you know function in a free market. So uh, this is good news. It's bullish in that sense. There's been a lot of fud out there too. We're not going to get into all that. I don't have a lot of uh, news for this video. 
Okay, what does market cap mean? So just definition wise, let's jump into market cap. You're gonna know what it means by the end of this video. You're gonna be able to explain it to friends and family if you so choose. So market capitalization, uh, the value of a company that is traded on the stock market calculated by multiplying the total number of shares by the present share price. So if a company had 100 total stocks on the market and each stock was worth $1, then the total market cap of that of that company would be $100. That's the very basic definition. Uh, let's look at it with the crypto in mind. Uh, for a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, market capitalization or market cap is the total value of all the coins that have been mined or minted. It's calculated by multiplying the number of coins, like individual stocks, in circulation by the current market price of a single coin. So you apply that same definition, definition from the last slide to cryptocurrency. So same thing. If uh, there was a crypto or blockchain or cryptocurrency that had 100 coins and each one's worth a dollar, then the total market cap is $100. Market capitalization or market cap is the total dollar value of, of the sh all the shares of a company stock or in the case of Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency of all the coins that have been mined. So just repeating the same thing, making sure we get that repetition going. That's how we remember stuff. In crypto, market cap is calculated by multiplying the total number of coins that have been mined by the price of a single coin. So once again, another example, Dan coin, 100 coins, $1 each, market cap of $100. There is no Dan coin yet. I have no desire to create a blockchain, by the way. Market cap gives us important clues. So one way to think about market cap is a rough gauge of how stable an asset's likely to be. It's important to note that even Bitcoin, the crypto's biggest market cap, it has the biggest market cap of all the um, assets is still very volatile. That's just part of the space, at least at this point in its development. So big market cap is kind of like a big ship out in the ocean. You know, it might even run into massive waves and a storm, but it's gonna weather it pretty well because the bigger ship can safely navigate heavy weather um, because of its mass, its density. Same idea with a, a company or a crypto a currency blockchain. The more it's value, the more value, the more stable. And then that small market cap is going to be more volatility, more risk, but also that potential for more gains. So why is market cap really important? It's just one way to measure a cryptocurrency's value, but you as an investor can use market cap to tell a more complete story and compare value across cryptocurrencies or chains. So uh, this is interesting, at least to me, the total crypto market cap, the highest it ever got was three, about $3 trillion. I think it was closer to 2.8, 2.9 trillion. But if you added all the crypto together, that's a lot of money, $3 trillion. Um, currently, it's at 1.8 trillion. So that's a pretty massive drop since November 2021. And that should not say February 2022. In fact, I'm going to fix that right now because it's going to drive me insane if I don't. Boom. Okay. Typos destroyed. All right, so here's a, a chart that shows uh, the total market cap in crypto. And um, usually, and I couldn't tell you the science behind why, but when you see this big jump, a drop, another jump with another drop, it's usually a good sign. And so um, I do believe, like a lot of people, that um, the total market cap is going to go way up. Uh, estimates say that at some point it'll hit twenty trillion dollars, which is you know roughly ten times where it's at now, eight times whatever. But eventually, and we're talking like two thousand thirty, so really not that far away. Although it sounds kind of crazy, uh, two hundred trillion dollar market cap or two thousand thirty five. I don't you know no one nobody knows. We just know that massive amounts of money are going to come into the space as people really begin to use uh, cryptocurrencies for expenditures and banking and DeFi, but also when they're using it to um, play games and earn money on um, play to earn games. So it's gonna get crazy, it's exciting. Uh, so let's look at the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market cap, uh, Bitcoin, there it is, that's the behemoth, uh, about $800 um, billion. And then you have Ethereum right there at $347 billion. So there's something that people, will occasionally refer to as the great flippening. So to, when a, you hear a crypto flipped another cryptocurrency, it means that it jumped it. So here's Ethereum, here's Bitcoin. It could be that Ethereum will eventually be worth more than Bitcoin in market cap wise. Um, it wouldn't mean that really that's a bad thing for Bitcoin by any means. Uh, Bitcoin is a different kind of blockchain. It's a store of value. It's like buying gold. It's, it's like I've said, stored safely. Whereas Ethereum 
does stuff. You can play games with it. You can invest it. You can let other people borrow it. You can do, you know, decentralized finance, uh, all that good stuff. Um, and so it's a different beast. And last I uh, $2,900. Remember, it got up over $4,000. Uh, so uh, that just goes to show how much it's gone down. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, top two. Tether is a stable coin. It's always worth a dollar because you can trade your, let, let, let's say I had bought Ethereum previously, right? I own Ethereum, I should say. And when it was at an all-time high, I could have traded my Ethereum into Tether and kept that value, that dollar value of the higher price. And then when it dropped, I could have traded it back into Ethereum. That's one of the big uh, things that regulators are looking at is Tether is almost better than a dollar. I'm not actually a big fan of Tether per se. I like USD coin or USDC, which is also a stable coin, which is worth 0.9998, so essentially a dollar. They do fluctuate, which is kind of weird. I don't know exactly why. Someone smarter than me can explain it in the chat. Um, but those are stable coins. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, the stable coin, Binance coin, that's uh, the Binance smart chain, has its own token, its own coin. USDC, XRP, then we go down Cardano, Solana there at number eight, uh, Terra Luna, Avalanche, and then if you right below the top 10, you have Dogecoin and Polkadot. So uh, really top 12, I guess, but you can see that the big boys, if you will, are Bitcoin and Ethereum. So, so then there's the mystique of the low cap gem, micro cap, small cap, no capping. That's where you can make some money. Yeah, micro caps are interesting. I am studying them. I am going to spend, I am going to spend my hard-earned dollars or invest my hard-earned money into a micro cap eventually. I just haven't found one that I feel confident enough to make a gamble on. So buying Ethereum is like, hey grandma, let's buy Ethereum. Kind of boring, but stable. Um, and then you have these micro caps. It's more like, you know, going down to the uh, casino. But um, you know, everything on this list at one point was worth less than a dollar. It was a micro cap. So it's all relative. Uh, this guy, this is a PJC climbing. Uh, this is from a Reddit post. He says, I'm a low cap investor, some 4X coins in the past couple of months. And I have to include, he named some coins. He says, here are the ways I find low cap gems. I look at developing chains, official ecosystems, and many of the top 50 to 400 range blockchains have low caps listed on their official ecosystem. I then investigate. My chains from Conflux to Xenon to Harmony to Solana to Near to Phantom are offering development grants. I look at the forums and the announcements for those grants. So he's looking at these blockchains get uh, venture capitalists to give them money and then they hire really smart eggheads to develop. And if you can look where that money's going, as we like to say, I think those of us who understand this game a little bit more than just the meme coins is follow the developers. Follow the eggheads, follow the programmers, the coders. Uh, these are the people that are actually building the tech. They're the ones that should have a bigger piece of the pie. And they actually do with blockchain because when you're a developer and they give you grants, they'll also give you tokens of coins that can grow in value a lot. Which So, so it's like, hey, we're going to pay you $50,000 a year, but you're going to get however many Ethereum also each year or even a token of Ethereum, because remember you have the layer one blockchain and then you can create different tokens to use Ethereum. But anyway, um, with that said, um, if you follow those developers and you follow that money, you can see where the new plants are gonna grow and that's where you can make a ton of money. So then he says, I then frequently buy cryptos that receive those grants since some of due diligence is already done. So see, he's finding ways to ride the coattails of other people who are really smart, who are doing the due diligence. They're not the venture capitalists and others aren't gonna to wanna to give these developers money unless they've shown some proof, whether that's their education or their experience that they can develop. So uh, I then frequently buy cryptos that receive those grants and because some due diligence is already done. And he says, often they have more access than the public has, which is true uh, by the blockchain giving out the grant. And then he says, another way I look for the block is the blockchain explorer uh look who's got coins without logos and i look them up so you're kind of getting in before they're being marketed and that's where you can get the big money as you can imagine so all right you must decide is it play it safe with the larger cap coins and wait that's what i've decided to use to do just because i'm not that uh experienced and it's the the safer long-term bet or do you dive into the small cap world um, it's easier to do that with a friend or in a crypto class like come into a video like this if I can ever figure this out. And I will make um, 
I don't want to say a recommendation, but I'll share what's exciting me. And, and then that might lead you to uh, what you want to do. And so like, I just for fun pulled up some top gainers and they all look so sketchy to me. Um, Aaron, a Aaron, a 0 0.02 cents. It's gone up 400, 4,000, excuse me, 791%. I mean, look at the, these, these tokens, Ninja Floki, it's up over 2000% in 24 hours. Tuda Birds, Meta, Doge Colony, Meta Pay, Mon, NFT. So I don't know. I mean, you might drop $100 in here and in two weeks you've got $2,000. I don't know. That's what's crazy. But how would you know what to invest in? Just because somebody tells you to or, you, you know, reads one thing online, that's not good enough for me. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you understand what market cap is. It's not that weird or scary or hard to understand. But um, when we talk about market cap, and so you can look at like uh, Tesla, look at a company, how much of the market cap do they have? And really you can see if there's $5 billion uh, out there in the world of E electronic vehicles, and you find out that a company has $2 billion of market cap, then you know that they essentially own two fifths of the market. So really helpful when it comes to investing. And if you wanna make a lot of money, we're gonna have to, or I should say a lot of money fast, you're gonna have to find some of those micro caps. Um, but it looks like, you know, Ethereum is going to 10x over time. It's just not going to 10x or be worth 10 times more than its current value um, over the short term. So if you like this and you haven't yet, subscribe and um, tell me what's interesting to you in the comments or if you have any questions or what I messed up. All right, everybody. Mr. Todd out.